All right, I resurrected my old uh, PVC voice box uh, voice synthesizer that I designed back in, gosh, whenever it was, and um, <clears throat> sold through various computer clubs. And uh, I've had it in my basement. This is the prototype. Kind of crude, but... Yeah, it's been sitting down there with the spiders nesting around it. I just cleaned it up and I uh, found my old VS1 manual that I wrote. You can really tell how old it is from the way the text is done. Really low quality dot matrix. <clears throat> Definitely not the way we would do things now. Anyway, I kind of banged in the program for testing it from the manual and it starts out with a bunch of pokes and peaks to set up the uh, parallel user port and uh, then it does a wait loop basically it sends out one byte of data uh, the voice box synthesizer produces the appropriate phoneme and inflection and once it's done it sends a handshake signal back and um, then the wait loop exits here and it sends out the next byte of data. And then there's all the data statements down here for all the phonemes and their inflections to say a phrase. So right now I've, this thing is supposed to run off of a wall wart, but I don't have the right one handy, so I've just got it hooked up to some batteries. These lights on the front are the hand shaking lines. This one's the strobe coming from the computer to send data to the synthesizer and this one is the strobe coming back saying that it's finished and it's ready for more data. This is the pitch control, this is the volume control. Let's try it that way. I'm going to run the program. Besides the controls on the front, this is the uh, power jack that I should be using, and this is a non-amplified line level audio output, and this is an escape key in case the program gets hung up, you can push that and cause it to exit the wait state in the program. So I froze it in the middle there. So I'm kind of amazed that still works after all these years. <laughs> 